We made it to segment number 16 of I'm Exclamation 1980's birthday special, and it's time to play Jeopardy for the Sega Genesis. So let's see how we do, shall we? Actually, I'll be him. We're taking on Yvonne and Rich today. Here we go. One day we double up there somewhere in one of these categories. Here are the categories. Western slang, first lines, sports dates, potpourri, School food, and finally, medicine. All right. These are good categories. Let's go ahead and start things off. First line's 100. This book is largely concerned with hobbits. Begins his, The Fellowship of the Ring. Who's Tolkien? You are correct. J.R.R. Tolkien, yeah. Uh, let's have first lines for 200. This 1941 film opens as Effie the secretary enters and Sam the dick asks, says, Yes, sweetheart? Uh, what is the Maltese Falcon? You are correct. First line's 300. Famous poem inscribed there says this colossus is not like the brazen giant of Greek fame. What is the Statue of Liberty? You are correct. I'll have the um, first lines for 400, please. MC who opened his 50s show with would you like to be queen for a day? Rich. Jack Bailey. Mm-hmm. You are correct. Rich now has his first bit of cash, and he'll make the next selection as we continue. Sports dates, 100. When he won the U.S. Amateur Golf title in 1959, this golden bear was just a cub. Who is Jack Nicklaus? You are correct. Sports dates 200. This Yankee Iron Horse played 2,219 games beginning June 2nd, 1925. Who is Lou Gehrig? You are correct. Sports Day 300. Daily Double. And I have $900 at risk on this clue. Let's bet it all. Here's the clue in sports dates. At a Pennsylvania high school in February 1938, this athletic event was called due to fog. In the gym, what is football? Sorry? Oh, no, it's all oh, the other one. Uh, no, a basketball one. game. Uh, I'll get it back, though. It's okay. Sports dates, 400. Wyoming Seminary and Mansfield Teachers College played the first night game in this sport in 1892. Now is the time for what is football. I should have said basketball and that other one, but for some reason I was thinking something else. But it's okay. It's alright. I only lost $900. We're going to get it back. And then we'll go beyond there. On July 4th, 1981, John McEnroe stopped him from winning a sixth straight Wimbledon championship. Yvonne. Nope. Sorry. 
Yvonne's not off to a good start. Rich. Nope. Sorry. So he'll join Yvonne in the hole. I'm going to stay right where I'm at because I don't know the answer. I don't remember. It was Bjorn Borg. Ah, right. I'll have uh, the $500 clue in first slides, please. Metaphysical poet who addressed death saying, be not proud. Yvonne. It was John Don. You are correct. So Yvonne's out of the hole, and she gets to make the next selection as we continue. Medicine 100. What you are if you're myopic. What is nearsighted? You are correct. I'll have medicine for 200. Ancient Chinese method of needling you into good health. What is acupuncture? You are correct. Medicine 300. Doctors swear by his Greek oath. Who is Hippocrates? You are correct. We'll have medicine 400. A myocardial infarction is commonly known as this. What is a heart attack? Medicine 500. Miracle drug accidentally discovered in Alexander Fleming's Petri dish. What is penicillin? You are correct. Random medicine category and we have $1,900 in cash. Let's have Popery 100. Inherit the Wind was inspired by his famous trial, and we're not monkeying around. Who is Scopes? You are correct. I'll have Popery for 200. He rewrote his first full length play, Battle of Angels, and called it Orpheus Descending. Rich. Oh, Tennessee Williams, yeah. You are correct. Popery 300. Of a gate, a bandit, or a Buddhist priest, what Rashaman is in the play Rashaman. What is a gate? You are correct. Popery 400. His offbeat play, The Skin of Our Teeth, features a talking baby dinosaur. Thornton Wilder. You are correct. Western Slang 100. Put these up when you're told to reach for the sky. What are your hands? You are correct. Western Slang 200.
Shootout losers often end up in the bone orchard, which is slang for one of these. What is a... I'll say it's a graveyard. Here we go. I'll have a uh, Western Slang 300. A sod buster was a farmer, but a sin buster was one of these. What is a preacher or a priest? What's a priest? No. No. It was a preacher I said it the first time around. I did not trust my gut instinct. That's okay. Keep going. Stop this when you're told to hobble your lip. What is talking? We'll have Western Slang for 500. Oklahoma rent meant this Oklahoma rain meant this kind of storm. What is a dust storm? You are correct. Okay, good. I'll have Pope for five hundred. When this playwright first presented Medea in an Athenian drama contest, it came in last. Rich. Euripides, yeah. You are correct. Rich now has some money again. We have one category left, which is school food. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. One of these a day won't keep the teacher away, but kids keep trying. What's an apple? You are correct. 200. Food item called a Coney Island, a tube steak, or a foot long. What is a hot dog? You are correct. 300? Starch and dairy duo, that's traditional Friday cafeteria fare. What is macaroni and cheese? School food, 400. Plastic utensil that is a combination of a spoon and fork. What's a spork? You are correct. And now the last clue. Subject of 1981 controversy, this condiment never wound up as a vegetable. What is ketchup? And that's another category we've ran with no problems. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, I'm out front with $4,700, Yvonne $700, Rich $300. So let's go ahead and play the round of... Double Jeopardy. Dollar values double, put two daily doubles up on the board, and we'll have these categories. American history, ghosts, bear facts, automobiles, foreign cuisine, and finally, world geography. Okay. Where are we starting? American history, 200. 
Ironically, the symbol of American independence was cast in London in 1752. What is the American flag? No. It is the Liberty Bell. Oh, okay. You are correct. That's okay. American History 400. Andrew Jackson pushed a bill through Congress to push all Indians west of this natural border. What's the Mississippi River? You are correct. American History for 600. In 1861, it carried Lincoln's inaugural address from Missouri to Nevada in its best time ever. What is the Pony Express? American History 800. President who served as architect for much of the University of Virginia. Who is Thomas Jefferson? You are the American History 1000. The first of these arts awards were presented in 1929. What are the Academy Awards? Sorry. What? Had to go with the Oscars. You are correct. Oh boy. All right. That's okay. Foreign cuisine, two hundred. No matter how you slice it, it's brought in Germany. What is bread? You are correct. Foreign cuisine, four hundred. From the Latin meaning to serve, it's the soup that starts a meal. What is minestrone? You are correct. Let's have um, four cuisine for 600. French cookie made of sugar, egg white, and almonds. Its name is from Italian for macaroni. What's a macaroon? For cuisine for 800, please. The distinctive starchy ingredient in Chinese dishes with main in the name. What are noodles? You are the For cuisine 1000. Called the fruit of India, it's the main ingredient in a popular chutney. What's a mango? You are the there we go. We ran the entire category and we're $8,300. Automobiles, 200 There we double. And I've built a big lead right now. How much do I want to put at risk? Let's try it again. Bet it all. Here's the clue in automobiles. Type of auto engine or tomato cocktail. What is V8? You are correct. Yeah. $16,600 in cash. Automobiles, 400 please. He'd buy you a, he'd build you a model in any color, as long as it was black. Who is Henry Ford? You are correct. 
Six hundred. Yeah, six hundred. This toy company builds more cars than Ford, GM, and Chrysler combined. What is Mattel? Look at all this cash I'm racking up. You are correct. Automobiles, 800. Powered by this, this Stanley Special won in Daytona in 1907 at 197 miles per hour. What is steam? You are correct. Automobiles, 1,000. In Japan, it's called Rashuawa in LA, 4 to 6 p.m. What is rush hour? That's going to put me at 19,400. That's another category we've knocked in the head. There we go. You are correct. Starting to build that bank up. Let's go with the uh, Fairfax 200. In song, Davy Crockett was said to have killed him a bar when he was only this age. What is three? Fairfax 400. The original Smokey the Bear became a popular attraction at this city's zoo. What is Washington, D.C.? You are correct. I'll have Fairfax for 600. The constellation Ursa Major, meaning the Great Bear, is better known by this name. What's the Big Dipper? You are correct. Fairfax 800. They are the best swimmers of all bears. What are polar bears? You are correct. Fairfax 1000. Name of the mascot few Americans got to see at the 1980 Olympics. Oh, I forget. Rich. Misha, yeah. I always forget that clue, but that's okay. Ghost 200. In the U.S., it's traditionally the best night of the year to see ghosts. What is Halloween? You are correct. Uh, Ghost 400. Not surprisingly, this assassin is said to haunt Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. Who is John Wilkes Booth? You are correct. Ghost 600. At Windsor Castle, this Tudor queen supposedly haunts the queen's library. Oh, Elizabeth. The what? The first. You are correct. Elizabeth the first, correct. 2,900, Rich. Ghost 800. Shakespearean King visited by 11 ghosts of his victims before the Battle of Bosworth Field. I'd like to try this one. I'm going to say who's Richard III. Oh, no, come on. You are it was indeed Richard III, yeah. Okay. Ghost 1000. A hideous Arabian ghost who steals corpses. It's come to mean any grave robber. Rich. No. Sorry.
Oh, a ghoul. You are correct. So we know the other Daily Double's in the category of world geography. The question is, is it in the $200 clue? Tis not. Cape Agulhas, not the Cape of Good Hope, is this continent's southernmost point. Uh, what is Africa? You are correct. 400. Cal of California, Canada, and Colombia, the one with the fewest people. What is Colombia? Oh no. Canada has the fewest people. You are correct. That kind of surprised me, but oh well. 600. There's the other daily double. Rich, I know for a fact, is going to wager $1,000. So let's go ahead and look at that clue in World Geography. New world country closest to Africa, and it's Brazil. You are correct. Brazil, correct. Two clues left. It's the lowest land point in the entire Western Hemisphere. Yvonne? Oh, Death Valley. I wanted to say that, but I didn't think that would be the right answer. Oh, well. You are correct. Last clue. Turkey's largest city, formerly called Constantinople and Byzantium. What is Istanbul? Istanbul. You are correct. So I'm at 23,600. Rich is 3,300. Yvonne, 2,700. So let's go ahead and play Final Jeopardy. Let's look at the category. Singers and dancers. swan costume ready. I'll just say it was Anna Pavlova. No, and that's right. So I'm going to win Kyle $23,600 this game, I should say. Yvonne goes up to 5000 Rich just goes up to 3400 and I stay right where I'm at. Alright. There we have it. We'll wrap it up for this segment, and I'm going to see you all for that next one coming up right after this. Stay with us. Don't go away.